Doom and Doom Eternal and an honest game trailer for Doom 4 and a behind the music. <laughs> Apparently, Doom is the best metal album you'll ever get with a free game included. <laughs> These videos were sent to me by Yago, thank you so much. I am very curious, I have no idea at all what these are about, but I can only assume by the title that everybody just wants to be friends and just hold hands and, and sing Kumbaya with each other. <laughs> right. Okay, let's get into it. So we're gonna watch official trailer from 2016, the official trailer from Doom Eternal, a Doom launch trailer behind the music, and an honest game trailer. Not in that order. I read that in a confusing way and I'm not sure why. But that's all right. Let's get into it and see what this uh, cheery stuff is about. Before we dive into this, I am a self-published author. These are my books. The first one, Magic Required, follows the story of a Celtic demigod as he tries to seek a redemption he's not sure he deserved. The second one picks up about six weeks later. And yeah, that's my spiel. Feel free to check them out. It helps me pay for, you know, more books and videos and stuff. <laughs> Bethesda. <laughs> Okay. Are these, uh, no, they're not humans. I saw the no eyes thing. What are you? Aliens? They're aliens, right? Chainsaw! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was so bad! Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. But oddly appealing! Oddly appealing to me! And I will tell you why. I've said this before on the channel. <laughs> that Okay. I've said this before on the channel because every so often like so I've been on YouTube for a little over 2 years, been doing game trailers for a little over a year, and every so often I realize I've lied to you guys and that I am a gamer, a hardcore gamer, super hardcore. And one of those things that makes me a hard hardcore gamer <laughs> is that I loved playing House of Dead at the arcade in the movies. <laughs> and that's what this one's like. That's what it made me think of. I'd play this at the movies in the arcade. Pew, pew, pew. And you have to shoot off screen to reload. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. When I was interviewing Joe Winter and watched his uh, game trailer for Song of Iron, he said that he helped make Big Buck Hunter, which I never wanted to play because I didn't want to kill the poor animals. But the zombies... <laughs> No problem. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna watch. Sorry, that was a big side tangent for no reason. Uh, Doom launch trailer. This is from 2016. Only a minute. Oh, this is us. Oh, we're being tested on. You've returned. I have. The only flesh and blood to walk between dimensions. Oh! Between our world and theirs. We're not zombies. Yeah, we saw you before. Play House of Dead, but 
That's interesting. A shorter trailer that told me so much more. I think intentionally, like the first one wasn't trying to tell me a bit of the story of the game, but kind of cool like to see how just like being on this table, I'm either like being saved or being experimented on in some way or tortured or something. And then, yeah, just one line of dialogue kind of gave me a pretty good idea of, of like what the story might be. I mean, obviously it could be deeper, but I like this trailer better than the first one, even though I got a big nostalgia hit from the first one. <laughs> Okay, this one's a minute and 42 seconds long. Doom Eternal. The inner circle of death is where he resides. Oh. Huh? She sounds like the girl, um, uh, Elsa, not Elsa. The one everybody got mad at me for calling Elsa from Warhammer 3 or something. <laughs> I don't know. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But she sounds like that person, and I wonder if it's the same one. Seeing them at the far reaches of the earth. Or maybe she was the Warhammer 40k nun lady who had such conviction. Either way, I feel like I know this person's voice. And beyond. And now I just want to start again because I have no idea what she said. The inner circle of death is where he resides. Hunting them at the far reaches of the earth. Oh, me! And beyond. Is she talking about us? And with him lies our salvation. There is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel barreled sword of vengeance. Slayer. Great Slayer. Oh, that was a critic, like, saying something. Okay, I thought it was instructions. <laughs> oh. a little hell, raise a little hell. I don't think that's what they're talking about. Doom carries a really, really, really strong legacy. Doom set such a high bar when it originally came out. Oh, right, because it's it an old set game. set a trajectory for modern first-person shooters that we know today. When you're oh, dealing with cool. such a strong legacy, it's really important to treat that with the utmost respect. <laughs> That original E1 M1 riff is iconic. <laughs> is That's so funny because I recognize that too. I wanted to too, find a way but... to kind of make that bigger and bolder. The first thing I did was <laughs> made the riff a little bit lower. When you play the riff okay. back lower, it feels huh. more aggressive already. Yeah, the other one I did recognize, which is funny. But I kind of felt that it needed to be why. lower still. I got a hold of a nine string guitar oh. to go even lower. Then what I was able to do was reconstruct so E1M1 using the nine string guitar while still incorporating those four original notes. It's... Oh, it just sounds like creepy. Doom is here. It's claustrophobic. It's yeah. aggressive. Yes. It's brutal. Yes. It's tactile. Mission it accomplished with face. that sound. It's piercing. It's at you. The music 
music in Doom really just tries to capture that Yo, complete people who lack understand of restraint. Music? It's up close and so personal. Cool. You have it's your hand down the throat. Crazy the language to learn. Hiding behind cover <laughs> and running away, scared. Oh, it's so intense! It's so intense. This is not the kind of music I listen to in my free time, guys. I know that must come as a supreme shock to you. <laughs> The MIDI soundtrack of the original Doom did a brilliant job of combining technology with metal. I was inspired by that to kind of see where we could take electronic music in 2016. So intense, I hate it. <laughs> I mean, like, I get what it is for its purpose, and that's really cool. And I think it works for that, but... Doom's gameplay is a really like dynamic experience. You go from fighting demons in close quarter combat environments to fighting hordes of demons in massive vast areas. Is As all you do playing, fight the demons? Music changes to reflect the situation that you're in. I guess in. the honest trailer will tell me. <laughs> that's kind of funny, the music changes from one demon in one room to many demons in one big room. <laughs> So intense, like ooh, so much, so much, so much. Well done, guys. Well done. That sounded like claustrophobia. <laughs> okay, Doom 4 Honest Game trailer. I have no idea when Doom 4 came out, like in the timeline of all these Doom games. I think the first one, uh, I think I was told the first one was from 1993, but uh, let's see. Four and a half minutes. The following trailer is rated H for Honest. From the developers who've been trying to recapture the magic of the 90s for the past 15 years, <laughs> comes the reboot that probably should have been a sad last gasp for a dead series, but oh. somehow turned out pretty awesome instead. Okay. Dune. Dune. Prepare your chainsaw to rip through the furious hordes of hell as you close the portals to the underworld once again oh. open the doors. By shooting enough bullets, rockets, and energy blasts to turn every demon on the planet into a fine red mist. <laughs> Instead of preaching the good word of the Lord to non-believers, keeping the demons from existing in the first place. No? That wouldn't be as fun? Step into the Halo suit of Doom Guy. <laughs> Is a that part of it? They found buried in a giant coffin in hell. As you awaken oh. once more to stop the hell on Mars yet again. All because some idiots thought hell would make a good source of renewable energy. You know, if you have to program your computers to warn you about demon invasions, maybe you should just stop doing whatever it is you're doing. I think that's a fair... Take fair on the role of the angriest game protagonist since Kratos. <laughs> I, I get that a little bit. As you punch, a bit, smash, I and I mean, destroy I just everything that gets in your way, then rip your enemies to pieces with your bare hands. As Doom's glory kill system urges you to turn all your enemies into health pinatas. <laughs> and the finishing moves push the limits of over-the-top gore. Until you grab a berserk power-up and find out that's where they were hiding the real s***. Yikes. Get ready for a first-person shooter campaign that's as old school as it is modern. <laughs> with all the elements you loved about the original series, such as... Sprawling levels filled with secrets. Oh. Giant kill rooms packed to the brim with demons. Running full speed at all times, <laughs> pickups, the classic Doom weapons, and absolutely no reloading. Then adds just the right amount of modern touches, like collectibles, challenges, upgrade systems, and you new don't have metal. To reload? Sorry, that was like 30 seconds ago, but I'm so confused. To create that. a genuinely unique FPS experience that feels like the classic Doom sequel we've always deserved. <laughs> Suck it, Doom 3. <laughs> After you're done with the combo of old and new in single-player mode that goes together like peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> enjoy the combo of old and new in multiplayer that goes together like Skittles and fish. As Doom's classic fast-paced gameplay <laughs> and pick-up so focus health system good? awkwardly slams into <laughs> Call of Duty's loadout and experience system, plus Halo's team-focused game modes and one-time bonus effects, and a bunch of gimmicky demon forms. To create an unfocused mishmash of old school and modern <laughs> that never quite gels together. But hey, at least the emotes are pretty good. I feel like when then movies once you've are gone redone, the rest of what Doom has to offer, you can give this same experience description. the paralyzing creative freedom of Doom Snap Map mode. 
a deceptively simple map editor with powerful tools buried just beneath the surface that allows players to dream up a near infinite variety of unique gameplay experiences, and hey. Dota. But will mostly be used to recreate old Doom levels and make maps shake like giant dicks. <laughs> <laughs> so polish off your super shotgun and get ready to play a franchise reboot done right. Because in this age of nostalgia pandering, it's getting a lot easier to screw it up forever. That's but now so that Doom, true. Mortal Kombat, and Wolfenstein are awesome again, the <laughs> 90s are back, baby. <laughs> Break up the Jinko jeans and let's rollerblade. Oh! Oh! Starring <laughs> people who masturbated. The Covenant. Stay still, you <laughs> f Undead Pharah. Helen Keller. Here, piggy, 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 Fupa, so Fupa bad. wearing an Oculus Rift, Fupa. Asso Orbs, The Gaines Demon, Obvious Bad Guy, <laughs> and Dr. Scary Voice, Heck. Uh, that's funny. Hey, did you know there's a classic Doom level hidden in every modern Doom level? That's pretty cool, oh, right? That Maybe is next cool. time they can make them not play like garbage in the new engine. Be oh. sure to subscribe. <laughs> that's less cool. That was fun. A little trip down memory lane for all of us, it seems. <laughs> That was super gory and I never want to play it. <laughs> but I will play House of Dead at the movies. <laughs> but that was cool. I really like that Honest trailer. I, I guess that one, when did that Honest trailer come out? Oh, in 2016, probably when the new game was coming out, right? Yeah, that. I feel like Honest trailers are really touch and, touch and go for me. I am gonna do an Honest trailer reaction for Hackers because Hackers is one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh my gosh, talk about 90s nostalgia. I loved Hackers so much, so I'm actually probably gonna watch that right now, but it'll land either on my other channel or on my Kofi page. So anyways, thanks again to Yago who gave me these videos. I hope you guys had fun watching this with me. I hope you all have and healthy taking care of yourselves and each other and as always until next time may the force be with you live long and prosper and i'll be back